I am not a big fan of doing big lift and shift projects to the cloud. And maybe this comes from working as part of internal teams. Like I, especially when you have an inexperienced team, start small, find one application or a couple of applications that you want to move that gets your team some experience, that gets your team comfortable, that you can revert back from if things don't go well, like you have an out. When you're saying we're moving our entire data center to the cloud, like you're pretty much committing yourself. Um, like there are absolutely consultants and and Matt being one of these who can go in and help you, you know, lift and shift your entire infrastructure, but it's really hard to plan in, in something like that for all the variables that need to be taken into account. Like it's 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 so difficult. Like are are we really kind of evaluating in a lift and shift scenario? Are we evaluating like when we're gonna use SAS versus PaaS versus IaaS? Or are we just literally picking things up and moving them to a VM in the cloud just to say we're in the cloud? Is that the most efficient means? And I understand like there's there's reasons behind why companies do that, and that's totally okay. But if you're looking at a new project, don't try to build you know build the whole city in a day. Like find something small, um, build that, have success with it. Yes, it may be a small win, but it's going to give you the confidence to be able to go through and do larger migrations later. Yeah. 